Ottaviano appeared in Bruno Mattei's Rats, one of the wackiest, zaniest, craziest Italian genre films of its time. And the young cast seems to just be going haywire. And I'm wondering what the atmosphere was like on the set of Rats. Era tranquillissima perché ognuno faceva come gli pareva. Era, non, diciamo che era quasi libero, non c'era mai un copione. Era no, quasi giornaliero. E era really free, everybody did whatever they wanted, so it was actually really easy. There, there was kind of like no script, it was kind of like just randomly moving forward from scene to scene. <laughs> a question for Beatrice. You ended up in a starring role in. Aldo Lado's film, and it's a film that unfortunately didn't get released here, but can you describe that film a little bit for the audience and your experience no. making it? <laughs> <laughs> Aldo Lado's uh, movie was uh, actually, the script was called Dear to the Gods, and it was a, the story of a passionate love that was taken after a real crime that had happened in the 80s that was an enormous scandal for many reasons. First of all, this Japanese man um, was highly cultivated with several masters and um, he, long story short, he uh, fell in love with this French model and he seduced her and then he killed her and ate her. And for a very long time they couldn't find the body of this woman. So the police went to his house over and over again until they finally got a uh, search warrant and found out that she was in little tiny sushi pieces. And um, the, the, the twist of the story, not only how sick the story was about him lo loving somebody and wanting to eat them, was that um, he asked to be extradited to Japan for uh, his trial. And in Japan he got very, very few years because they called his crime a crime of passion. So he was sort of forgiven because he had killed in the name of this passionate love and he was understood that that's how the story came out. So it was, it was a huge story in Europe. People wrote about it and did a TV series, not a TV series, but like kind of like um, a movie of the week and there were a couple of movies made. Antolado uh, wrote the script about it and uh, when I was cast, I was actually the model that uh, the original Japanese man um, seduced and killed, and I was having this frenetic life, looking for jobs, looking for better parts, wanting to be the star, international star. In my 20s, I was very, um, very taken by the career. I mean, I was taking dance classes, singing classes, and learning English, and being the best I could be as an actress. So when I was cast, I was really the Valerie, the character in the movie, and that's really hard for me to talk about this movie because it ended up really being traumatic, and I actually, it marked the end of my career <laughs> in so many ways. Um, I was, um, at the end of the story, introduced to the concept of, um, instead of being just seduced and killed, but um, understanding the philosophy of uh, this passion, and the passion of it, and completely tapping into it. And when Valerie comes to this understanding, um, and this world is very etheric, Zen world this man lives with. She's embarrassed to go back to her own world that's so superficial and narcissistic and useless and um, she decides she wants to die. So at the end of the movie I actually invite him to kill me because I want to live in him. So <laughs> the movie was um, very intense, it was six weeks and I got like four hours of sleep at night and on the weekend I was doing um, dance rehearsals and when the movie came out in Japan, I was not invited, but the man who had committed the crime was. And so I received a phone call from the actor who was the colleague with me, and he said, oh, Beatrice, the most amazing story. I just came back from Japan. <laughs> and the, this, the, this criminal man was invited to the showing of the movie, to which I was, you know, I mean, <laughs> I hope he doesn't hear this interview now. But <laughs> I was totally freaked out. I mean, you can imagine, I had, um, I had given a consensus to turn the story into a uh, willingness um, of being killed for the, for the understanding of this passion 
and now this man had been rewarded by being invited at the premiere of this movie as if actually we were rewarding his um, criminal act. So from that moment on, I've been afraid of Japanese men. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You know, I love Japan. I absolutely love sushi and <laughs> anything zen and martial arts. I'm, I'm crazy about Japanese stuff. But it, it, was, it was just, I was like, um, probably really stressed out about um, how exhausted I was from the movie and, um, and the way it turned out at the end. Great movie. And, and Great. I'm glad it wasn't released because I had a double and, and the double was uh, invited to shoot extra scenes that weren't in the set and, and I kind of lost trust in the director so there was an interruption in the movie and I had to get an attorney and nobody wanted to represent me and then in Rome the rumor was that Beatrice gets an attorney to sue a film director or a producer or at least she threads or at least she gets representation and no one will want to work with you. So I guess in a way now I have a different career and I'm happy I have like a peaceful life. <laughs> There's no more crime or but um, eventually all experiences teach you something, I guess. That that was that was intense and I'm glad it's in the past. Good Thank you. Uh, I don't know if you wanted to know this. <laughs> Um, we're going to open it up to the audience now, and for the first time, we're going to actually we have a mic, so that the questions can be heard. That's right. We've got people so, here filming, so let's for the esteemed panel yeah. and the their wide body of work. Feel free to ask them. Yeah, any let me questions. let me look this way. Somebody from the center of the room got a question for somebody? Let me just pass this over, and you. Uh, Mr. Cleaver had the uh, opportunity to work with Joe D'Amato. I'm just wondering what was that? Excuse me, what that was like. Joe what was he like to work with? Uh, well, Joe Tomato became my best friend. And uh, to work with him was a pleasure. But it uh, was a pleasure also to have like a friend. I have to tell a small story about me and Joe Tomato. One night, we went out of the restaurant, we ate a drink, we were in the car, certain moment, we, we, the other side of the street, we see the trash, the tank of the trash, so Jodamato, look, tell me, look, there is a carpet, the carpet, there is a carpet, Maybe it's good. Go to take it. <laughs> okay. My right there. His name was Eric. I am a famous actor. I cannot go. <laughs> he told I am a famous producer. I cannot go to. <laughs> so I tell, okay, let's show. Then we are drunk and we go near the trash. <laughs> if the carpet is good. <laughs> And so we went. I am sure, I am sure we took the car. <laughs> <laughs> so I tell that to tell them the life of a joke, the star, sometimes is very, very normal. How about anybody I'm looking at this side of the room? Somebody have a question over here? Maybe. Go ahead, Dan. This question is for uh, Mr. McCullough. Um, I remember talking to you in a dealer's room a couple hours ago about uh, the film Alien Contamination. Can you um, talk about what the rest of this wonderful fans and all these, this wonderful crowd here in this room, your experiences working on that film and with that director? Uh, I thought it was one of the worst scripts I'd ever seen in my life. <laughs> uh, I was more than happy to do it. I mean, the wonderful thing about doing, I mean, I did three films in Italy. And the wonderful thing is, I had three locations in New York, uh, at least a week each time. Uh, locations in the Caribbean, locations in South America and Colombia. And they're working in Rome, which is a, you know, the eternal city, and it's a marvelous place to be. And the Italians are sort of marvelous people. To get an opportunity just to do one film is fantastic. But I did three, and the last one, I say, was Alien Contamination, which was, I mean, to put it in its most abbreviated form, crap. 
Uh, it, it really was the most awful script that ever existed. And I have denigrated it from the